moment, ma'am. Could you give me a moment of your time when I talk to you? Ma'am, what are you doing here? These people, they, they kill children for money. Yeah. You know that this isn't the place for you. You know that this isn't okay. I mean, we can help you. Like, if you say that you need help, and the, the reason that you are here is because you need help, we can help you. We can take care of any material need that you have, but it, there's no justification for this. I mean, I, I mean, I have four kids already. I had this other one. But let me, okay, so if, if you, you have a job, right? No. Okay, does your husband have a job? I'm a single mother. You're a single mom? So if you, if your income got dramatically reduced, you wouldn't say, man, I can't take care of all four of you. I'm going to kill one of you. And you understand that. There's no justification for this. This place, they, they kill children for money, and our society accepts it. That doesn't make it okay. It doesn't make it right. God still views it the same. If you were to take one of your kill children right now that you have a relationship with, and you were to say, times are tough. We don't have very much money. We're going to kill you. He would view it the exact same. There's no justification. That's, that's definitely not what the Bible says, ma'am. Okay, where in the Bible does it say that, ma'am? You're making a justification for that. I'm not making a justification. I mean, you're not going to change God, my mind. God hates all sin. He hates all sin. But it but says he not, hates certain sins more no specifically than the sin. other. It's not, okay, this sin is bigger than where that. Where does it say sin that? Sin. Where does it say that, Where does it say in the Bible that, okay, this sin is bigger than that sin? James Proverbs, right now. Seven things God hates. Read it out loud. Seven things that God hates. Six no, Bible read it out of the Bible. Okay. He's, he's going to get it. Is there like I specific? Have a Bible in here. But like, he's going to get it. Mine. He wants. No, you ask me a question. A Bible in here. Let me talk to you about it. But he asked. He asked a question. He's going to show you right here. I'm a very Christian. I, I have a Bible. And it you're going to come kill your child that God's wanting to bless you with. I have four kids. Look. Look at this. Look at this. There's okay. Six things the Lord hates. Seven that are an abomination to him. Haughty eyes, pride, lying tongue, hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that devises wicked plans, feet that make haste to run to evil, a false witness who breathes out lies, and one who sows discord among brothers. Did you hear greed in there? Well, greed wasn't in there. Greed's a sin. God hates greed. But guess what? Like, shedding innocent blood, he hates more. And this is the shedding of the innocent blood of the child that he wants to bless you with. Or... If you are not, actually not able to physically take care of this child, wants to bless someone else with, that you're withholding and treating as a curse. I'm not going to give it to nobody. Well, then let us help you do that. I don't, I don't There's no justification for it. I don't want to be pregnant. I don't want to carry. I don't want to be What does it say about your faith in Christ that you don't have faith for a trust in Him to provide? That you think that He gives you a, ch a child and you don't trust in Him to provide for that child? You believe that children are a blessing from God because the Bible says it. You believe that they're a provision from Him, but you don't trust the rest of the Bible that it says it's going to provide for you. He says in Luke 12, don't worry about what you're going to eat. Birds don't sow crops. They don't plant crops, right? But yet they're well fed. Flowers do not sow or make clothes, yet they're well dressed. Jesus says, don't worry about what you're going to do tomorrow or what you're going to eat. He's telling him to trust in Him. I'm telling you to trust in Him. This action is not trusting in Him, ma'am. He's blessing you with a child, and you're saying, I'm going to treat it like a curse because I don't believe that he's going to, he's going to give me the means to provide for this child. And you're about to kill this child made in his image. There's no justification for it, ma'am. Ma'am, your religion is false. 